Hey everybody. Um, so just real quick, uh, I wanted to address the elephant in the room. Why well, I haven't been doing uh, any painting or design videos recently. Um, so my game group is totally online right now. Like people are getting married. People are, uh, you know, they have new jobs. There's like gas prices are through the roof. So basically we're just totally online right now. And that's why I've been doing so much like uh, Roll20 kind of content, like stuff for, uh, for playing online. But I promise we're going to get back to painting <laughs> real soon. I do have a lot of projects that I'm working on. Uh, I know that the name of the channel is, you know, Esmore Art and Design, so. Um, but uh, I wanted to show you guys something really cool. Um, so this is something that my DM uses in um, a, a, a sci-fi game that we're playing in uh, Stars Without Number. He uses it for every uh, NPC in the game. And I just thought it was really cool. Um, so basically what it is, is that it's a, um, it's a just random portrait generator. So, uh, what you do is you, you kind of just plug in, um, some, uh, words. <laughs> you just kind of plug in whatever you're looking for. Like, let's say, I, I keep trying this, but it doesn't seem to work. Uh, ugly Disney princess. Well, that's not, okay, that's not a good example because it doesn't seem to work, but, all right. I'm gonna try another cyborg ninja. So basically you just put in, you know, a few words and then um, it uh, takes a second to kind of think about it and then it just generates some random portrait. So yeah, it like, um, it, you know, it takes like about a minute, like maybe a little less, uh, and then it just makes some, uh, some portrait for you. So uh, I can show you, let's see, like some of the stuff, uh, like I, I plugged in Patrick Bateman, right? And it knew who Patrick Bateman was. Or like, I haven't tried that as much. Like, let's see, if we said, um, I don't know, Gordon Ramsey, uh, Disney, Pixar. Um, angry. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? Uh, I mean, because it knows to it knows who Gordon Ramsay is, right? It knows to do his face angry and in a sort of Disney Pixar kind of style. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, one thing that I did, or let's see, I don't think that it does like fantasy races. I think it just does uh, humans. But uh, we could try um, blue-faced orc, uh, a female orc. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, there we go. Like that's a, you know, that's a fantasy race, right? Orcs, I mean, hmm. It does, it looks like a, uh, it looks like a shadow run work kind of, right? Um, but, uh, like I tried Ninja Turtle and it didn't, it didn't, uh, didn't pick up on that. Like, like basically I think it just takes, it takes the words that you put into it and then it just kind of generates like human sort of looking portrait from, from those words. Like if I just put in Ninja Turtle and then, you know, tr try to get it to uh, make a Ninja Turtle, I want to see what it does. Yeah, so that's that's not a Ninja Turtle. Um, but, you know, if you're if you're playing in a game like a like a, a sci fi game like ours, it works really well. It works really well to just have like 
um, portraits just on the fly for, for anything. And then, um, so the, the, say that you want to download these and start making tokens out of them. Um, so I have, uh, I have token stamp open over here. Um, and then it wants to save these, um, these files as, um, WebP files. And I don't even really know what that is. I don't know what a WebP file is. Um, I thought it was web page, you know, I thought it was uh, trying to save it as a web page, but it, it, um, it works just fine in, uh, in token stamp. So, you know, I thought, I thought, oh no, it's trying to save the whole web page, but, uh, but it works just fine if you want to download it and put it into token stamp to make a token. So right over here, I have, um, uh, roll advantage token stamp to open. Uh, and then this just, all it does is, um, it just makes like a token out of whatever you plug into it. So, uh, so yeah, we've got a nice cyborg ninja there. And then it does the, um, it does the thing where it, uh, like if we, we pick our image, we size it how we want, we place it how we want, and then it ends up over here and then you can just download it and then you have that nice token ready to go whenever you want to plug that into roll 20. so uh so yeah i mean that's like that's it <laughs> that's the that's what i wanted to show you so i'm going to put links down in the you know down here and um but the this site is called artflow.ai and uh, yeah, it just generates uh, cool portraits. And then uh, Token Stamp is uh, is another one that that I use all the time for uh, for making tokens. And uh, uh, this is um, yeah. So I'll put a link to that too. And uh, yeah, just thought you guys would think that was cool. Uh, you know, like I I uh, I tried putting in. Um, I just want to try one more. Uh, Ninja Aria Stark. Just want to see what it comes up with if I put in Aria Stark as a ninja. Hmm, not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Cool. Well, anyways, yeah, that's gonna beat you guys. So uh, take care of yourselves, and promise more uh, painting videos coming soon.